So let's get into the love portion for Libra. Let's see what your messages is. Your first message for Libra. Thank you so much for watching if you're on YouTube. I do apologize about the... Um, I didn't do you guys last week, but I had someone visiting me from out of town. I didn't want to work the whole time because I have a really bad habit of working and not um, living. Um, someone came to see me to make sure I was okay. I thought the least I could do was, you know, take a break. Um, so I apologize if that upset you, but, you know, I had to do what I had to do. So you guys are being posted on Monday, okay, to this week. Next week, you will go back to Wednesday. So we have get you some. Okay, so you guys need to get you some. You guys need to take a break from whatever you're dealing with when it comes to love. Like I just said, relax a little bit, live a little bit. You know, I'm learning this. This is not something that I like, but I am learning this. We also have someone's possessive. So there is someone I feel like there is a very strong connection with this person. It could be that they're pulling on you energetically as well. Maybe you're not even connected with this person right now, but you still feel their energy. You still feel like you can't move on because this person's energy is so intensely pulling on yours, right? Let's see. Let me give another message for Libra. Or for some of you, if you're single Libras, you, like because everyone loves to watch love readings and then say how single they are in the comments, um, which is fine. Um, I don't know. It's like a, I don't know. It's like a, a, a contest sometimes in these comments about how sad you can be or how lonely you can be. I don't know why it's, it's weird, but if you are single, then it means you need to get out and get some. That's instead of commenting that you're single and you have no one, you need to get out there. Okay. This is a message from spirit. I'm sorry if it's coming at you raw. It's seven something in the morning. I ain't got time. Okay. So let's see what's up. Let's see what's up with Libra. What's up with Libra? Let's start with Libra. Believe in the impossible. So, yeah, some of you guys are maybe down and out with love right now. Um, you don't feel like, yeah, nothing is yet set in stone. There could even be someone that you want to come back around or you want to work things out with. But for right now, you need to, like, live a little bit. You and your loved ones are safe. New moon in Cancer. And we also have the blue moon. And when is the blue moon, guys? Class. It's on Halloween this year. So some of you guys, there's going to be something significant that happens on Halloween, okay? I'm kind of freaked out because I didn't know that this Halloween was going to be so serious. I didn't know that, you know what I mean, this was going to be a whole blue moon and everything. Um, but yeah, um, I'm definitely getting um, that this, this Halloween moon is going to be significant. My Juno return is on Halloween, so which is actually in true Libra. So I'm kind of wondering what that's going to mean. <laughs> Um, Juno return talks about marriage. It talks about either meeting the spouse. I've known two people who had their Juno returns and they got married that year. So I don't think I'm going to get married this year, but hopefully maybe I'll meet someone that I'll marry. So I'm pretty excited about that. I'll let you guys know how that goes. But yeah, this Halloween seems to be pretty serious. So we have today for tomorrow. That's the energy that I feel like you guys need to be in um, because that's the energy surrounding you guys. There's something here that you want addicted so there could be someone who's addicted to you. I feel like there is an energy of someone that either you want to have in your life or they want to have you in their life, but it's not serious almost. This is coming up in your Patreon reading. So if there is someone that you still feel connected to and you want this person back, the way to get this person is to um, get you some. Either, you know, actually go be with someone else or make it appear that way, date someone. And it's not about games. This is a this is a factual thing that people don't know what they have until it's gone. Like I'm literally living that experience right now, okay? It's to the point where it kind of freaks me out because I'm like, eh, what's different now? But sometimes it has it works out that way. I mean, I don't think every love story is perfect. Um, so there is an energy of you needing to cre create competition around yourself, okay? Whether you want to or not, like as far as like dealing with someone else, you don't have to be in a full on relationship. Like I tell my clients all the time, you guys need a date. There's nothing wrong with dating. How are you going to know how you want to be treated if you don't date? You know, our ancestors, our mothers, our fa our grandmothers, you know, they really, fathers, uncles, they really were in dating. Like dating was a big thing back in the day that we don't do now. Now it's just Tinder and, you know, it's just the dating culture is just shot now. I think there's a bigger need for especially women, but it can be men too, to make yourself more of a competition to someone. Do not just settle down with them and be loyal to them right away because there's so many people who want connection right now because of the internet. It's like as soon as we get a connection, we're just loyal to it right away. And then we wonder why someone treats us like they have forever to commit. You know what I mean? 
So we have the three of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you guys are focused on work. Some of you guys are already dating other people. You may not be taking anything serious, but you're pretty light right now with the three of pentacles. This is definitely the energy of someone who is very focused on work. Therefore, love is not a priority to you right now. That's one thing. So yes, that could be it. For those of you who are like, oh, I don't have anyone. I'm just focused on work. I literally just said that. So there you go. Um, and then we have the five of swords okay so yeah um you're feeling the five of swords so you feel like someone's playing games with you so this is you kind of reciprocating that energy okay you're reciprocating someone's energy the love game by um lady gaga just came up let's play a love game play a love game and, and when i say competition around you there's a five of wands at the bottom of the deck so some of you guys are matching someone's energy someone wants to treat you like an option so you're treating them like an option i love it sorry i love it you treat me the way i you treat me like the five of swords i'm not going to necessarily be the five of swords but i'm going to make you feel what you're doing to me yeah the chariot okay um cancerian energy something has got your attention libra you're going towards it the ace of pentacles some of you guys might meet someone or there's already someone in your circle that you might decide that you want to settle down with and it could be not the person that you're disconnected from right now i don't know what's got your attention that's interesting uh some of you guys this is a work related situation something work related has got your attention and you're putting all your energy and focus into that yeah three of pentacles five of cups I feel like you're looking at your other options or you're focused on work because there's a love situation that disappointed you. It could have been that this person cheated on you. Some of you, this person cheated on you. So you are like, eh, no. The Five of Swords and the Empress. See, this is you knowing your power. I don't really, I don't mind this Five of Swords here. Some of you could have found out that this person was married to someone else. You could be done with a Taurus, Libra, Aries, a Leo, a Virgo that was married to someone else, a Sagittarius, a Cancer that was married to someone else. Um, so you were deciding not to be a third party, even though you love this person. I do feel like there's love with, for someone here, especially with this nothing is yet set in stone. I feel like this is someone that you're on the outs with right now. It may feel like it's over, like it's done, but it's not. This is um, in the five of swords in the empress. This is you treating some, teaching someone how to treat you. You're not an option. Okay, you're a wife or a, a, a life partner or nothing else or a husband or a life partner or nothing else. Why is the Queen of Wands here? You're very attractive at this time. You're getting a lot of offers. Yes, yeah, some of you guys are dealing with two people. Okay, Six of Pentacles. It could be more, you know, dating out around, but there's two people in your life for a lot of you. Yep, Two of Pentacles significantly. There's two people. Six of Pentacles right there. And the two of pentacles if that's not it you're juggling a lot when it comes to your business or your finances some of you guys are dealing you're juggling a fire sign and someone else okay and i feel like it's so you can you can teach someone that you're not an option that there are other people out there who will be willing to and happy to give you what it is that you want without all the bullshit. okay i love it why is the chariot here i'm sorry i love it why is the chariot here i might have to turn off the comments on this one because people are gonna be hot i don't care what's the chariot <laughs> What's the chariot about? What's the chariot about? Um, four of cups. Something you see. There's something you want. I don't know what it is, but let me get a one card, please. I feel like you guys are moving out of stagnant energy. You're moving away from anything that is not progressing. Some of you guys are making a choice between two people. Yep. I feel like you're letting go of someone who was a headache to you and you're moving towards a newer person. Something that seems a little bit more stable. It could be an earth sign. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. What's this Ten of Wands about? The Queen of Swords. That's you. Cutting something off. You're cutting someone off. Ace of Pentacles. You got a better offer from someone else. A more solid offer. Okay, at least that's what I'm seeing this week. Okay, remember, these are just weekly readings, guys. So this is the energy for the week for Libra. For right now, I see that you guys are in transition between leaving a fuck boy or a fuck girl. Sorry, that's the energy. Um, and because this person was playing with you. So you said, okay. And if it's not, remember, if it's not a love, you're not going towards a new love with this Ace of Pentacles and this King of Cups. Yeah, some of you guys could be choosing between an earth sign and a water sign, an air sign and a fire sign, some type of dynamic like that, right? Um, if it's not a, a, a love-related situation, then it's a business. Some of you guys may be opening a tarot 
business or a spiritual business um, and you feel like there was a love situation that was a burden to you, it was blocking you from really fully focusing on your work, you're, you're leaving that behind. And it could be a fire sign that you felt obligated to, or like I said, any sign, but I'm really getting Taurus, Libra, Virgo, Aries, Leo, Sag, Aquarius, Gemini. Taurus a little bit as well. And I think I said Aquarius, but I'm not sure, okay? The King of Cups did just show his face. So you could be, oh yeah, Chariot's down there. So Cancerian for sure, okay? So yeah, I see you guys dropping a burden and headed towards something new. Um, I want to take this Ace of Pentacles out and we're going to look at what that is in the extended because that's going to be different for everyone. It could be career related and it could be a new love offer, something stable, okay? So we are going to look at Taurus. Um, we're going to look at Scorpio. We're going to look at Aquarius. We're going to look at Libra. We're going to look at Virgo. We're going to look at all the fire signs and Cancer, okay? So, yeah, Taurus. We're going to look at Virgo, Scorpio, Aquarius, all the fire signs and Cancer. And we'll also look at all the air signs, too. We'll look at all the air signs. So, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius as well. So, if you guys are dealing with any of those signs, we will pull a card for each of them to see what's going on. We'll also be pulling to see what this Ace of Pentacles is. We'll be pulling from this deck, and we'll pull two more oracles. So, if you're interested in that, Libra, check out the link in the description box. Again, thank you so much for being patient with me. I love you all so much. Comment, like the video, and I will see you next week or in the extended, whichever you choose. Bye, Libra.